Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brienne and this is Diary of a Homemaker. On this channel, we share a ton of home cooking and food related things, but also thrift hauls and home projects. Today, I really wanted to share with you our DIY farm stand build. And this has been many, many months in the making. I started dreaming up this idea of what I wanted to have last fall and we started gathering stones for the patio. We are finally getting around to tackling this project and let me tell you, it was quite the project. This isn't necessarily a how to video, although I am happy to share the measurements that we ended up going with. We decided on a fairly simple structure. We used four foot by eight foot plywood boards and then two by four by eight two by fours for the bone structure. All shelving is made from one by six by eights and we attached all of that using the star head wood screws. Those are our favorite screws and they really do make making or building things a breeze. I I have always loved building. I have enjoyed building since I was a little girl. I remember going out to the garage and hammering nails into wood and who knows what I was trying to make, but I always found a lot of joy in creating things with my hands. And I think that's why I enjoy cooking so much is really just being able to make something myself and then having something to show for that at the end because we are working on this project in the middle of summer um, in the Ozarks. It is extremely hot outside. And whenever New Way reached out to me to ask if I wanted to partner with them, it was an immediate yes. I'm gonna be showing you the ice shaver that they sent me and how it works and a couple of my favorite treats that I've been making with that. Whenever I got this in the mail, I was surprised at how large this appliance actually is. And it was very well packaged, so everything came perfectly. But because we live in a fairly small home, I haven't found the perfect place to store this yet. Although I will say, spoiler alert, we have been using this nonstop. And it really has become our daily treat because it can effortlessly create delicious treats in just a few steps. I also really appreciated that it has handles on the side, which make it super easy to be able to move around. Like I said, I haven't found the perfect spot to store this yet, and I have been having to move it around just a little bit, but it's worth it. I also appreciated that it had directions on the machine, so I didn't have to keep track of any type of owner's manual, although it does come with one. The directions are directly on the machine, and it also came with a drainage tube. So I'll show you how we install that later. It is super simple. But first, I wanted to share with you my favorite lemonade recipe. We have been making frozen lemonades almost every day, and these are so good. The recipe will be linked in the description box below if you'd like to go check that out. But all you're going to need is three quarter cups of sugar, one cup of lemon juice, and then seven to eight cups of water. This is my favorite lemon juice, and I feel like this part is key, is having a high quality lemon juice. I know sometimes other bottled lemon juices are filled with artificial flavorings and some questionable ingredients, and this one is pure organic lemon juice. I order this from Azure Standard. And I just go ahead and mix about a cup of warm water in with the sugar. This is going to allow the sugar to dissolve very easily. And then I add the lemon juice. I give that a good mix and then I top it off with water. You can totally drink this as is. And here I am testing it. I'm not serving this to people. This is just my family. It's fine. I also recently canned up some cherry juice and I plan to make cherry limeades, but we've also really been enjoying making frozen coconut waters. 
That coconut water is my favorite coconut water and um, I know you just saw it in my recent Costco video. If you haven't watched that yet, that will also be the link in the description box below. One of my favorite features about this machine is being able to choose the roughness of the ice. So you can definitely make it super, super fine if you're looking for more of a snow consistency, or you can do it just a little bit rougher if you're looking for just a little bit more crunch. This machine is so straightforward, and if I can do this, you can do this. My favorite way to serve these has been in a wide mouth mason jar, and I simply fill it up, top it off with the liquid, and then if I find that some of the ice has melted just a little bit, I will go ahead and top it off with a little bit more ice again. We could totally make snow cones out of this, and I plan on doing that. We've just really been enjoying the frozen drinks lately, and this one has been my favorite. We've also been drinking some frozen Powerade slushes because it is just so much more cost effective to make it ourselves. I do want to show you the end result of our farm stand. We ended up painting the outside with a water resistant paint and the roof was made out of a corrugated metal. I did add a flower box on the side and a couple of flower pots in the front and Truly, this farm stand ended up way better than I could have even imagined. If you are still here, thank you so much for being here. I truly do appreciate you taking time to watch these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll see you later.